Unbelievable. The god of the sky is angry. His rage was felt even from Midgard. Sacrifice eight animals to the gods. Villagers will be happy. Blessed from the gods. Villagers will work 10% slower than the renovating buildings. Donate silver. Villagers are happy. Do you know what? I'm going to try this one. I'm going to see what happens. Because according to this, you get a blessing from the gods. And we've never done this before. Villagers will work 10% slower, presumably while they're renovating buildings. And then that will go. We'll try that. So what blessing did we get? Thora died due to a disaster. That must have been the doctor in the house. Died on duty. Wow, look at our food storage. That's insane. I don't know what the benefit was of that. Maybe, maybe the gods bless us by not giving us a earthquake as often. Feels to me like instead of paying silver, everybody's just working slower for no other benefit. Just a bit meh. Population's rising slightly. Let's try and build some more homes. Oh, 
accomplish that. I don't think there's any more, much point planting now. It'll be too late, and we haven't got any storage anyway, so... Right, but we do need more homes. Lots more homes, lots more population. I think they need a marketplace up here as well, if I'm honest. Otherwise, you're going to have to walk a long way for anything. Casual Screamer, thank you for subbing. Welcome, sir. If it's your first time subbing, refresh your page, use the emotes, and don't forget Discord. We have a Discord server. Do you want to join that? Or house. Colliding with Trace. Service the game. Come on. give us some more population. Learned about Lothian. Twenty one labourers, three builders. Okay. We've actually got more workforce, it's nice. The numbers are going in the right direction. Forget that. Forget that, forget that, forget that. That's fine. We should be able to start to um unassign farmers now, I think. We're in late autumn anyway, so let's just harvest that. What's the resource situation? 3599234 coal, so that's not bad now. It's nearly balanced. I 
I'm just going to take the workers out of the tavern because it doesn't work. The tavern is literally dead. This is a real shame. really annoying this part of the game. Like, you should be able to at least just bring up a screen and cycle through the different buildings so that you can say right assign that assign that assign that so just scan it around everywhere looking for things comes the snow Yeah, but when the when I train the farmers to be warriors and then I send the ship away with warriors on it, what am I going to farm with? You're just kind of making a problem for later. Right, let's get rid of all the farmers now. So Goku, I'd have to I'd have to send it to you, mate. I don't think I have an SVG of it, I just have a very high res. Which is good enough for most things we've done. Firewood. Right, what have we got? Twelve laborers. Let's see if we can. What do we need for an army expedition? We need an exploration mission to tick the box, don't we? So that means exploration. Three days, six day, nine day. I don't know. Nine day. In the Drakkar. Crew six, not ten. Right, war point. So we've got six, but we need nine, I think. Provide enough food if you don't want the crew to starve. A certain number of missions are possible. Explore the tree of light to increase your mission limit. So I'm taking, we need to train up at least like nine people or something. Yeah, they're kind of all busy. That's the problem. 58-year-old laborer, 36. We'll put you in there. <laughs> An 87-year-old hunter, Thora. What a legend. I don't know, Vaja. Maybe. 87 years old. That's incredible. Right, I don't know. You'll have to go in there. We're going to have to take some people out of key jobs. 58. Go on. You can do it. Go on your last voyage. Live a little. Gatherer, we don't need gathering. 88 year old warrior. Roar. 
We have some seriously old people. A 76-year-old warehouse worker. This is amazing. 23-year-old tailor. You're quite strong for a tailor. Herdsman, gatherer. There you go. You get the gatherer in there. Well, there's a hunter there. Surely a 77-year-old hunter would be fantastic at what we want. There you go. You go in there. That's six. Another gatherer. Stone miner. Kind of need them. A marketer. You're into marketing? Go for it. Train. Let's go. Ten laborers. Dad's army. It is quite literally Dad's army. Village is one percent happier. No. Sales want ten percent less beer. You see, arguably that's useful, except we have an insane amount of beer, so it's not. Trade ship speed increase ten percent. Trade customization. Foreign merchant ships come in more often. I tell you what, they don't seem to come in very much at all. Beer production increases, no good. Making totems increases the intelligence of village in a certain area by 20%. I mean, that's not terrible. Being able to buff areas is not terrible. What's up the military line? Warriors training speed increased by... There you go, let's get that. Defense buildings can be built. So we can now build village defense, which is how they increase their um, defense rates, and I think. Not through an army, necessarily. Drakkar speed increased by 5%. Ultimately leads to... Which is obviously some kind of improved Drakkar, I think. Drakkar with guns or something. Six points left. Do we spend four on that and two on that? do that let's get that that leads to amounts of loot gained from raiding increases I like the sound of that warrior training speed 5% that looks like a portcullis so do we get the drakkar speed increase we're not going to go on a raid yet are we so let's get the drakkar speed done and the next one we'll get is that one so we get more gold when we finally do raid Defensive buildings decorations give more defensive points. That sounds nice. Drakkar customization features unlock. That sounds a bit end gamey. Whenever you build defenses, that's when they attack. Well, yeah. Pretty much. So, what buildings do we get then? Military. No. Nope. See. Production. Food. Wait, what did we unlock? Uh, battle him. Thank you for seven months. Is football really coming home this time? No. Spoiler alert, I've come back from the future. It doesn't come home. Marketplace. Production. So what are these buildings that we've supposedly unlocked? I can't find them. Did the Tree of Life just lie to us? Defense buildings can be built. Okay, so why can't I find them? It should be under military, surely. Am I going blind? Am I missing something here? I see no benefit from the Tree of Life points that we just spent. Hmm. 
That's a little bit annoying. Is that one of those things that's not been finished in the development cycle? You hate football with a passion. <laughs> Hitting that instead of the one next to it. Wait a minute, so if there's nobody. If there's nobody in the pen, they just carry on breeding anyway. They don't die. They don't actually die, they just breed all the way up to the maximum and sit there. So you just come back later and slaughter them. Nobody here. We have a lot of stone, a lot of money, a lot of food. Okay on the wood. We're just missing hands like people. I don't know it's a cool tiger. It is possible, I guess. But if that was the case, it shouldn't have let me spend points. What shell? All right, let's uh, accelerate time. See what happens. Two thousand two hundred grain. That is insane, man. That is some great food storage. The round thing you put on the houses. Oh, you mean that? Sh that was a, a, sh a decorative shield. That one. You mean this? doesn't do anything, does it? This armor should be trained very soon. Must a bit. They do look. The graphics do look nice. Like the way they've done the snow and stuff. It's very ornate. Just cracks me up the amount of holes they have in the design. Like, what's all that for? Be freezing in there. Right. So the population is gradually going up. Pups is playing golf, by the way. Unbelievable. Such a try-harder. Not in my town, they don't. They, they drink ale in my town because it's the only thing they can drink. I 
thought we could just squeak that in that. Like a city, this look at it, it's beautiful. Right, we now have trained people. Let's see what's what down here now. So, send mission exploration nine days. I don't know, select food. No, let's do this first. Track our auto crew select. But one shot apparently, but I don't think it matters. Eight, 81 food. Flipping heck. Now this is annoying because it doesn't show me what I have in stock. Other screens let me see what I've got in stock, but I can't access them, so I don't know which is the best one to go for. I'm guessing we have a lot of white meat, but even so, it would be good to see, you know, what we have in stock here. Bread and white meat. Yeah? Nine-day exploration. Let's go. Let's do it. Learn about 15 villages. Blimey. That's going to take time. Hang on. How's the repair going on? Needs to be taken out of action. Shouldn't they start coming down here now and, like, you know, getting the ship ready? That kind of thing. Oh, here we go. That's the wrong side, mate. No, 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 you... Okay. I mean, personally, I'd have kind of come on this gangway, but okay. It's a little bit exposed to the weather, this, isn't it? Waiting for the sailors. We are going to have nobody left now. We've got 15 labourers. I don't know where we got them from. Hey, oh, they're on the way. I love the way they're always they're already like facing forward, which is entirely the wrong way. <laughs> Wait, where's my um Oh you can't customize the Drakkar yet? Scumbag. What the trading ship has our um like twitch colours and everything, but the Drakkar doesn't. Well, good luck on your exploration. Try not to die. Mrs. Frosty, thank you for the raid. Frosty Jack, thank you for 77 months. My storage, of course. Of course.
grind some of that wheat. Oh my god, he's alive. Who is? Who's alive? Right, what's the chicken situation? Meat, white meat, okay, bread. Look at the fruit, blimey. Where do we get all that from? We can have a massive party with all that. Festival, how happy are people? Ah, they need a bit of a... There we go. Organize a festival. Organized feasts and games, consumes more food, intelligence and luck bonuses gained, the villagers are stuffed with food, and village will be very... Let's do it. Let's organize a winter festival and games. The Olympic Games. <laughs> Boom. Happiness went up massively. Look at that. I'm so pleased by that. Oh, it's still going up. Is that it? That was like 10%. Wow. Festival and games and we still can't... Yeah, yeah, you can... The way you, you make people warmer is, first of all... The housing so the poor house needs more fuel to burn whereas that one there is better insulated and then that one's even better and then the second thing is in the tailor workshop you can produce wintry clothes here so you need leather yeah you can use wintry clothes they buy the wintry clothes and it keeps them warm Uh, Samati, thank you for gifting a sub to Jersek. Welcome back, Jersek. Luxembourg was discovered. Ooh. How do clothes do that? Where's the electric heater? Okay. If you want to know how clothes work, take all your clothes off and go outside and tell me how that feels. And then come back in, put your clothes on and go back outside. And that's how clothes work. I mean, maybe not completely naked. Maybe leave your underwear on just for your neighbor's sake. But other than that, you should find out that you don't need an electric blanket to stay warm. I'm surprised you haven't discovered this phenomenon. Yeah, you can tell the police I told you to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. They'll definitely, uh, they'll definitely accept that as a valid reason. Yeah, I, I can imagine the police actually when you say to them, like, excuse me, sir, why are you walking around completely naked? Yeah? And you're like, well, this streamer on the internet told me to do it. 
Okay. Oh, that's fine. Go about your business, sir. If someone on the internet told you to do it, that's absolutely fine. Why is that guy unhealthy? Low health. Why? Why have you got low health? Why can't I even click on you? Is he old or something? 41. Poor clothes. I think he's going to die, you know. I think he's going to die. We seem to be short on wooden planks and stuff. Like the stone situation's fairly fairly stable. Might as well reapportion that. Well there's a healer. There's a healer down here, and there's another one in the rich district, I think, here. Gatherers don't work in winter. No, not that one. That one. Not enough material, even though they've got three herbs. Not really sure about that. I really wanted to put that there, like a corner pharmacist would have been fantastic. It's ruined the plot. Yeah, we'll put one there. There's one in every district. Oh my god, we suddenly have 36 labourers and I don't know why. Like, where did they come from? We suddenly have a lot of spare hands, interestingly. Right, so defensive buildings and decorations give more defensive points. You see, that's a lie. We got lied to already about this. Defensive buildings. This is a lie. Amount of loot gained from raiding increases. When we go raiding, we'll take that. That's just painting your Drakkar, which is not particularly useful. Uh, timber production 10% faster. Could be useful. Maybe get those. What's this? Hmm. What an absolute cop out. Villagers are one percent happier. Villagers are one percent happier. It's <laughs> rubbish. I really want to know what's down this tech tree, but to get it, I need to go that way, and that's ten points. That's insane. That's two. And then whatever that is. Which I think that's like improved defenses or something. Which I don't feel like we need yet. Oh, 
I can't. I don't have 10 points for a kickle. What's that? Newcomers will arrive in your village. Okay. Well, we shall make them welcome with poor housing. Of course, whenever we welcome people, we always end up with some kind of random argument. Uh, oh, he's putting his tents on my land. Like, right, okay. Sure. Almost in spring. Right, we should be able to fill up the uh, empty slots now, I think. We have enough people coming in. They've not bred very much. Kind of thinking we could send out a trade envoy, trade ship again. Don't think we've run out of chickens. Three hundred and ninety-two white meat. <coughs> Excuse me, white meat. Don't think so. To get this building done, we can get some farmers in shortly. The thing is, if I send out a trade ship, we have to commit so many people to it that. We don't have enough people left. Like, by my reckoning, only about 15% of the population is actually generic laborers or builders. Vard was discovered. Objective ended, explore. Objective started, first raid. Wait, what? Raid a village. <laughs> Recruit warriors and send them to raid a small village. <laughs> oh boy. Newcomers will arrive. Yeah, they can join. We've got 10 points. I'm not spending it on that. Warrior training speed increased. Amount of loot gained from raiding. Right, now we need to take these. Heavily armoured warriors can be trained. Ooh! 
Interesting. It's eight points, though. We need two more points for that. Do we have any heavy armor? I actually can't remember. We do. We have 35 heavy armor. Hey, if you're going to go raiding, you got to put the best armor on your chickens. Chicken raid incoming. Uh, barley. Don't think we need barley planting. Hmm. Let me do one run of it. We've halved our grain store, so we've churned through that. Alright, they've got a local chemist now. Uh, we'll be doing a raid soon, so I assume that's combat, but I don't know if we'll see anything. I think it's going to be one of those combats where the ship goes away and then it tells you what happened. Homeless. Don't worry, dude. We're on it. Bye, Mac. 22 months. The best early Christmas gift. A magical purple button to the best nut house. Thank you, sir. I reckon... We just grab all of that meat there. Grab a lot of materials. Building storage is full. Full of white meat. Blimey. Was not expecting that bike on. Who's that? Shaw44. Thank you very much for gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you for the support. If you just got a sub, please give me a thank you. Alright, what's it like in the realms of iron and coal? Okay. Blacksmiths. Zero wintry clothes, zero high quality, 43 light armor, 34. I think we can tell them to stop making armor. That's not them that makes it. Let's say no armor and just focus on everything else. Fabric. Prioritize that. I think we've only got two tailors workshops, so we've got three. Three. I'll leave that on the middle for that one. Cool. Three tailors on the go.
Do you know, this, this is annoying. So there's three ships that are all in good state of repair. The one that's nearly dead is out there. I have nobody assigned to work on it, which means the person out there is illegal. And I've got to wait for them to come back before I can even repair the ship. So now it's back. I can now deselect it from the list. And then auto-assign people. And then I can repair the broken one. Uh, Green Grayska, thank you for 38 months. I know, I'm going to repair the trade ships after this. I think it's because the sat though just getting bashed. <laughs> what does that do? There you go. If I remove them from port, maybe they won't be considered at sea. And then we can repair them here. Let's try that. One day spring has come in. The oh, what's this? There is a blessing. Do you remember when it said the gods favor us? Do you think there's going to be like some crop bonus this year? It kind of looks that way. Because we sacrificed five goats, the gods are like, here, have a bumper year. I was wondering when that blessing was coming. Finally. Turn two of them off now. Get some more workers. Your fame is almost maxed out. Why is that 10k the maximum? That can't be. That can't be right. How are we going to get more tree life points if that maxes out? Yay, 300 people. Woo. Uh, I've completely lost my mouse cursor. <laughs> In the game, I have totally lost the mouse cursor. I don't know what I'm clicking on. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's come back. Woo. I, could, I had no idea what I was clicking then. That's better. Right, so far so good. Let's get some wheat down there. Let's get some wheat down there. Got wheat being planted here and then here. That's being watered. There we go. Fishermen are not happy with the newcomers. Of course. They're offended by the new arrivals to complain to you that the fish escaped because of the newcomers wash their belongings in the lake. Not that we have a lake, but okay. Constantly washing our clothes in the sea. We can't fish. We're losing money. Right. Forbid washing clothes in the sea. Use water from the well. Fishermen should be patient. Right. Either the fishermen are unhappy or the newcomers are unhappy. Well, we'll make the fishermen unhappy because, frankly, you know, they've got it, had it good for too many years and we don't need them anyway. So go away and be unhappy. Look, we're getting a buff there. Have good clothes. You see that? Because we're making decent clothes now.
No, there was no way 10k ever was the fame cap. Because we wouldn't be able to explore this tree if it was 10k. So that looks like the end of that tree, doesn't it? Quite like the idea of them totems. Heavily armoured warriors can be trained. Let's go down that road. Mission dispatch slot increased by one. By one. We don't need any of that yet. Not sure what that is. Okay, so we've just unlocked that. The power of heavily armoured warriors. So when this expedition comes back in... Which I'm hoping it will soon. Merchant ship has arrived. I'm hoping we can retrain them to be heavily armoured. Gotta be honest, mate. We don't... We okay, Dutch. Thank you for that. That completely woke everybody up, including me. Dutch TS dropping 20 subs, setting off the klaxon. Thank you very much for your very kind support, sir. Can we get some squirrel gift in chat? Yeah, that woke me up. <laughs> if you just got a sub, give me a thank you, guys. And also, check out your new emotes and join the Discord server. Um, what was it doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was saying, I don't think we need to trade anything. We don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, we're actually making most of our own stuff now. We don't really... We're already short of anything. I think all the clothes are being bought, and we've got plenty of armor. So I think we'll skip that. I don't think we need these more bums on seats, really. Your cats went nuts. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. I still don't see any defensive structures. I'm wondering if, because it's early access, other cities don't raid you yet and therefore you don't need to build defensive things, maybe maybe it's not in the game, I don't know it's not bad, there's nothing under there mate, only training camp is why I kind of think like it's not there yet. Thank you, Mickey. Bangers and mash with onions and baked beans for today. <laughs> Good night, dude. I think we need a road. After that one.
there are defensive decorations. Uh, yeah. Basically, the ones with the shield on increases the defense of the village, like target board. But I mean, it's only worth one silver. And... It doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah. When you look down the list, the weapon rack increases the defense of the village. So you put that down. Put another one down. Like. The defense points of the village can be increased by training new warriors and installing defensive decorations. Warriors on missions are not included in the defense. So maybe you just need a lot of them. Because it mentions defensive decorations, but... I don't know, let's just put down quite a few, see if we can bump that up. Well, it's on three now. Now it's on four. Now it's on five. So it does actually seem to go up randomly. It's definitely delayed. Like, you put them down, there's a big delay before it updates. So, these towns that we're going to go raid, maybe that's all they've done. I thought they had really good warriors, but actually all they did was just put up props. Ah, uh, look how powerful we are. We have weapon racks. Uh -huh -huh. You'll never defeat us. It's all just a big con, isn't it? Just flexing, that's all they're doing. I reckon it's about five silver per X per defense point. Exactly, it's like the it's like the fake town in Blazing Saddles. That's exactly what it is. I mean, I don't know if it matters where you put them. But if you put them here, where you can't actually build. You're not going to be building here anyway, so it kind of makes sense. You're never more than six meters from a sword. You don't know how to use it, but at least it's there. It's just a big knife.
Yeah, we're on 28 defense now. And we didn't even do anything. Just spent a few silver. Right, we're we on 31. There you are. I feel stronger already. Got lots of laborers again. Cool. Now I'm just going to make sure the food situation doesn't get out of control again because the problem is, is like these things happen very slowly. Like you can't see the progression of your food doing this, or your population doing this, or your population doing that. Does it happen over long periods of time? Yeah, you can stay. Of course you can. Make yourself at home. We'll argue later about the fish and you cleaning your clothes in the water and stuff like that. Uh, no taxes, no. Not that I, not that I've seen. Okay, tailors, how are we getting on? Wintry, high quality. It feels like that ship has been away a long, long, long time. Wait a minute, is it back? It came back. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even notice. Hang on, let's train some uh, troops. Heavy infantry. How many heavy infantry do we need? We need fast and strong. Okay. 47 year old. Here we go. 17 year old hunter. 19 year old hunter. Okay, that's eight. That'll take four days, apparently. There was a message saying it returned you didn't see because you put down sword ranks. Cool.
Right, raid a village. Which we will. We will raid the village with heavy armor. <laughs> Are there any more raid points? Any more raid buffs we can get? Warrior's speed training increase. Let's do that. Don't need any mission dispatch slots. What's that? Timber production. Don't think we need to spend our points just yet. I wonder if the fishermen are still unhappy with us. What's the housing like? Cool. Right, we're not going to build any more houses for a little bit. We're going to make sure we can support that food-wise. Three. Let's keep our eye on that. Let's get rid of some of them. They're not breeding very quickly. I mean, at the end of the day, even if that food starts going down, we could just turn online more of these chicken farms. It's just instant meat. We need more trees that we do need. It looks like stone, these stone things have reappeared. I'm pretty certain that they were gone. Fishermen are not happy with the newcomers. What is it about fishermen? Hey? See, this one makes them permanently unhappy. This one just makes them unhappy. So it's just fishermen all day because it's a temporary debuff. Can't 
can't see any more stone. There's one. Yeah, Baz, well, when you do your playthrough, mate, you can go for that and see what other events you find. <laughs> I can imagine it involves people getting ill. Okay, middle of summer. How long that training going to take? The forest to camp to cut trees. You don't need... Basically, any of your labourers can cut trees down. So you don't need a forest to camp necessarily. <gasps> One day left. One day left before the ninjas can arrive. Look at this. The armoured ninjas. Then we're going raiding. Look at them. Whoa. This is what we're going to do when we get there. We're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and then a cage like that, and then a bit more of that. And then we're going to pretend we're playing that game where they go, rah! What was that game called? Oh, was it called? The one where you're a knight and you're running, going, ah, like constantly. What's the name? Was it Honor? Is it for Honor 2 or something? Chivalry 2. I think it was Chivalry 2. <laughs> it was just stupid. Press the, press the C key and it would like scream or something. I never played more now. Some, some people said it was better. I think it was Shiv 2. Mod has also a blood curdling screen button. Oh, really? I like the sound of that. Does it tell us when the army's ready? That food seems to be like plateaued at the moment, which is interesting because it means when we get to winter, we might find it goes down. 